Lately, I've been really into modding consoles. So far, I've jailbroken my 3DS, Wii, and a friend gave me a jailbroken PSP. The other day, I found an archive of old PSP applications created by the PSP homebrew community. For those who don't know, homebrew enables people to jailbreak their consoles. These jailbreaks allow community-created games and apps to run. Anyway, in this archive, I found an Invader Zim fan game, so I just had to download it and load it onto my PSP. Unfortunately, I couldn't open it. After spending way too much time trying to find a way to play the game, I ended up using an emulator called PPSSPP. Psst, psst. To my surprise, it was able to load the game. Ouch! Yeah, the sound is really loud on this thing. I don't know much about this game other than it was created in 2009-ish by Shock Zone. It's supposed to have two levels, but the second level isn't finished. All it has is a few sprites and no code. The menu isn't finished either. Uh, you're only able to select story mode, the other options don't really do anything. In the first, and I guess only level, you control Zim's boot cruiser. The goal is to dodge asteroids and collect blue Urkin logos. These logos allow you to raise a shield for a few seconds, and you can only have one at a time. If you already have one, you will just pass through the new one. One thing I love is the movement system. The voot feels great to fly around, and the speed animation is a great touch. However, I find this level quite difficult since the voot is so big and the asteroids end up going really fast by the end. Oh, and uh, you can only be hit five times before you die. Okay. This game is kicking my butt. I thought it was gonna be like super duper easy. Just cause a lot of the assets uh, look like just stock stuff. But no, I was wrong. Yeah. It, it starts off fairly easy, you just kinda avoid these things. But some of the, um, the asteroids that come at you are pretty quick. It, not gonna lie. <laughs> I, this is probably my, what is this, like my third, maybe fourth attempt at this. And I, mean, I got pretty close the first time, but yeah, I just get ramsacked near the end. Near the midpoint where I am at right now. -ish. Cause that's when we start getting the fast ones. Ooh, I ran right into that. Gotta keep my eyes peeled for the fast ones. Oh gosh! Well, it was nowhere near me, fortunately. Oh gosh. Fortunately, you can move pretty quick in this game, which I do appreciate a lot. Mm. Sucks there's actually no way to get health back, as far as I've seen. I haven't gotten a single shield on this run either. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! 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 Oh! Oh, I was so close! Dang it! Oh. Sucks because it's such a contrast. Like, the first of the game, it's just so stupidly easy. And then, as soon as you get into it, it is like Battle of the Planets when Zim's going like, I'd like to see you get through the asteroid belt, dip! And then he goes through and gets completely ransacked by the asteroids. Uh, I got a shield, yay! Uh, cost me one health though, so not really worth it. <laughs> oh gosh, oh no, I am not gonna make it. This is not a good run. I've already, I'm not even at the halfway point and I've already lost two health. Oh. Oh, I get it. The shield comes at the cost of speed. This, uh, I've been recording for about 12 minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I lost one health as I looked over at the recording time. Oh, oh, oh gosh, it came right up from under me. Oh my gosh. You might make- oh, oh no, oh no, I think I only have one health point left. Yep. Oh, better make it count, better make it count, better make it count. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Years of Flash games don't fail me now. <gasps> yes, a shield! Oh, and another shield! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. It didn't really help much, but... I, oh! Oh no! No, 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 no! So far I haven't finished the level. I keep dying near the end. But, being a tinkerer, I tweaked the game a little. First I cleaned up the audio so it would sound better and stop giving me a heart attack. Power die, new player. Power die, new player. 
powered by Luna Player. Player. Next, I tweaked the code so I could shrink the voot and the Urkin logos. That way, it would be easier to dodge the rocks. I also wanted to add sound effects to the game, so if an asteroid hit the ship, Zim would scream. Unfortunately, this didn't work out. I'm not sure if it was the audio I added or some other factor, but the game just wouldn't load. Oh well, I guess I'll just add them in post. Even with the smaller ship, the asteroids were still going way too fast. So I'll just remove this, save changes, load the game, and... Infinite lives! Let's see if I can hit all of the asteroids. No, girl. That's bad. Believe it or not, those squeaks you're hearing are actually Zim screaming. It's going so fast that you can barely hear it. <laughs> Dang it, I'm missing a few. Oh, come on, I can do better than that. I know I can do better than this. Would you look at that? I completed the game. Yay! Well, this has never happened before. Zim, your prize is... Your prize is nothing. There is no mystery prize. They just made it up to make kids work harder for no money. I wish they had gotten around to making the second level. From the sprites, it looks like it was a platformer where you play as Zim and shoot things. Seems kind of cool. I also found some unused audio in the game folder. Processing. I put the fires out. You made them worse. Worse? Or better? So maybe they were adding cutscenes or something, who knows? Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make more content like this. I found a few Invader Zim apps that I'm thinking about trying out, and also some Invader Zim themes for my computer. Anyway, that's all I really have. Uh, bye guys!